it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back. I have my, whoa shit, let me throw some stuff. <laughs> my uh, Sugar Muses. It is now a, I believe it's a quarterly box or like every other month or some shiz like that. Anyways, hey guys, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxings. So if that sounds like something you might enjoy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, now let's get in the fucking box. <laughs> How is everybody? I wanted to thank y'all for sending me healing vibes this past week or so because I'm feeling a lot better. I'm a little, still a little froggy, um, but I feel like a normal human for the most part now, so yay. Thank you. <laughs> Right. I'm so excited because Sugar Muses used to be a monthly box. They had like two different boxes. The Sugar Muses, actually they had three. They had like their regular one, their deluxe box, and then their uh, Midnight Muses. And then um, the owner had to take um, kind of a leave of absence from that because I think family issues. But anyways, so she finally came back and now she's doing, I don't know, like I said, it's either like every other month or quarterly or something like that. So anyways, let's get this paperwork. All right, so this is the Beltane box. Yay! April 2022. Alrighty. So it says Beltane is an ancient Celtic Sabbath held April 30th through May 1st in the Northern Hemisphere, also known as May Day and the Festival of Flowers. I'm actually, I had said on my last video that I'm kind of in the market for a Maypole. Not like a big one, but like one that I can... Anyways, so still looking but I did find oh my god I don't want to tell you guys because there's only four left I need to buy it actually I just got paid so I'm gonna do it there's this beautiful like May Day goddess statue that um has like um like the bottom half of her sort of looks like the ribbons and the maypole thing I will if I remember this hopefully I do you guys can call me out because I always say if I remember you guys can always call me out in the comments and be like girl you said you were gonna do a link so just tell me and I'll do it because, you know, I get kind of busy and I forget. <laughs> and I listen, I don't really watch myself back, so I don't remember what I say. <laughs> so anyways, there's this guy statue that I'm going to buy and it's on Etsy. So um, I will try to remember to link that below in case you guys are interested. But I'm going to buy mine first because there's only four. Okay. Let me turn my phone on silent because all my work notifications are blowing up. Okay, Lisa, get on track. Um, it is traditionally known as a quarter day, the halfway point between the spring equinox and the summer equinox. I can't wait for the summer equinox. Um, Beltane is a Celtic word which means fires of Bel. Bel was a Celtic deity. In the Wiccan tradition, Beltane is the celebration of the union of the goddess and the god, the male and female energies. Witches and pagans who observe the Wheel of the Year celebrate Beltane as the pinnacle of spring. We give thanks for the fertility of our planet and the ability of the earth to renew herself. Spring is a time to tap into the energy of the season and to help bring new life into spells, intentions, and energy work. When we perform rituals and celebrations to help turn the wheel of the year, we reconnect to the natural rhythms of the earth, to the in-breath and out-breath, and to the heartbeat of the earth, beating the rhythms of life beneath us. Beltane is a time when the gates open between the worlds of the seen and unseen, a chance to connect to the elementals, to have wishes manifested, a truly powerful time for magic. Symbols are fire and the maypole. Deities are goddess Flora, May Queen, and Green Man. Do I have Green Man up there? Um, I thought I had a Green Man. Oh, he's over here, I guess. You can't see him. Okay. Um, elementals, the Fae and Nature Spirits, Planet Moon, Botanicals, the Lily of the Valley, Foxglove, Lilac, Ash, Birch. Jasmine, bluebell, and blackberry offerings are spring flowers, spring water, floral, oils, and crystals. Yes. The items in this, mis in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or separately as you are called to do. They are curated to help inspire you on your journey. If you like the option of a guided ritual, I have outlined one below along with the metaphysical properties of items tools for this month's box. As with any ritual energy work, it is sacred and very personal experience and is recommended that you use your knowledge and intuition. I'm having a hard time. As you are guided. Okay. 
<clears throat> I'm not going to read the ritual. Again, I always say you need to subscribe to the box to get the ritual, bitches. <laughs> Just kidding. Y'all aren't bitches. But you're my bitches. So, yeah. You're bitches. Okay. <laughs> I'm also a bitch. <laughs> I'm yo bitch. No, that sounds really bad. <laughs> okay. Lisa, edit this out. I won't. It'll be in here. You guys, you guys know. I don't edit shit. <laughs> okay. Ugh. First, we have this Beltane. <laughs> I believe it's like a... Hard for me to read. It just talks about Beltane on it. So anyways, artwork for your grimoire. And then we have these artworks. Very nice. Um, I believe that... Uh, Christy? Yes, Christy is the one that puts together the artwork. Uh, digital collage art print was created exclusively for this month's box and can be placed on your altar, framed, or added to your Book of Shadows grimoire. Um, and it says the same for both of these. So over here and over there. All right. And then we have some pretty, like, botanical-looking uh, tissue paper. Again, everybody does tissue paper so lovely. And when I do it, it's just like... Pfft. All right. So a little card. Okay, I don't know if this is an oracle card. So this is the uh, picture on it. And on the back it says, The Divine Conspiracy. Everything under heaven is on a mission to awaken you to your greatest, most enlightened potential. Review your life and see how even your challenges provide the perfect storm to take you, shake you, and wake you up to your magnificence. Wonderful. And whoever, um, I can't remember which one of my subscribers said... Because I was trying to figure out how to get all this shit in my Book of Shadows. She uses photo corners. So that way you could put it in there and then you can, you know, take it out if you want to. So brilliant. Amazon has already been notified. <laughs> and hopefully they'll be here. I think they're going to be here tomorrow. So I need to take a day off and like work on my Book of Shadows because I have so much shit to put in there. So anyways, that is my Oracle reading intuitively drawn oracle card bam search for awakened dreamer by kelly sullivan walden on sugarmuses.com for more information on the deck it was drawn from that was one sentence take a moment to reflect on the meaning this card has to you has to you has for you um and of any insight it may bring there's so much shit in here i just don't even know what to do okay Let's do this. So we've got, ooh, pineapple papaya green tea blend. Contains caffeine. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to open it. Because <laughs> y'all y'all know I like to smell shit. I like to smell shit that doesn't have a smell. I don't know why. I want to put everything up to my nose to see what it smells like. Mmm. That's lovely. Okay. Let's read about our tea. It might not really... Why did I think there was double sided? I guess not. Um, um, there it is. Okay. This... I don't think it really says anything about it. It just says that there's a loose leaf tea included. Okay. Very nice. I mean, I told you what it was. Pineapple papaya green tea. Mmm. Very good. Okay. And then you've got your muslin bag for your tea. Okay, I don't know what to get. I don't know what to freaking get. Okay, let's get this one. Ooh! Spring Muse Handmade Organic Ritual Soap. Look at that. It's purple and blue. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> I can't really smell it through the thing. And I'm still stuffy. Okay. Um, oh, there it is. Use this. Okay, so this, like, so she includes a lot of these, basically all these items are kind of included in the ritual, so there may not be, like, a huge thing about each one, but she talks about um, doing a bathing ritual with this um, in the middle of all this ritual, you know, or at the beginning or whatever, so. Anyway, it's very nice. It looks lovely. I can't smell it. Um... 
it just says ground oh okay it just says fragrance I don't know what fragrance it is it's botanical okay moving along because I could sit there and try to figure this shit out all day <laughs> alright so now we have some incense very nice I enjoy the little um the little tag on it it says I think it says herbal sage mmm and again probably doesn't say it just says light the incense you know during your ritual very nice okay all right and then we have a Beltane botanical soy candle let's open it up Ooh. oh oh that smells good look how pretty Ooh, woo. okay I'm, I'm, I would say that I'm extra today, but I think I'm extra every day. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below. <laughs> I think, ask my boyfriend. I think I'm extra every day. <laughs> my boyfriend is like super like calm and chill. And then I'm like, what? <laughs> actually I've, I've, um, I've calmed myself down being with him a bit. His earth energy has has helped me out. I don't find, I don't know. Okay, it just says lighting the Beltane candle. Okay, here we go. This month's candle has been spell crafted to honor and promote the qualities of the season, infused with citrus, jasmine, and pear essence, and dressed with dried hydrangea, I'm gonna drop it, jasmine, and milo berries, or milo berries, I don't know. Um, and it just says, shit, I think I lost some of the, some, um, take a moment to sit in silence and breathe deeply. Allow yourself time to become present, clear of distracting thoughts. Always burn candles on a heat safe. Be careful with your pets and your children and shit. Okay. Oh, I can smell that pear. It smells so good. Oh my god. Okay. Woo. All right. We've got a crystal in this sachet. And it is, it already tells me on the outside, it's a black agate. And it appears to be a worry stone. Do y'all like worry stones? I'm just curious. I have rose quartz worry stones in my shop. I think that's the only, uh, no, I have a ton of rose quartz. I think that's the only uh, worry stone that I have. Um, let me know if you guys like worry stones. Um, it's got that little thing that I always say a thumb rub <laughs> so you can it's like a fidget spinner I always say this fidget spinner for adults so um, but I'd love to know if you guys like worry stones do you like palm stones like what's kind of like um, what do you like I, I like both um, but I'm gonna be adding more to my shop I'm kind of waiting until I take my trip to uh, North Carolina to hit this wholesale shop um, so I can hand pick some things before I add any more to my shop. Um, and I need to save some money for my trip. All right, then we have um, this Sugar Muses fragrance oil. It just says Sugar Muses on it, so I don't know what the, let's see if it says, Ooh, oh, Fairy Sight. I don't know if it's gonna, Fairy Sight. She's, um, She's changed her bottle. Uh, I mean, you know, it's usually like the square guy, but now we have this cylindrical situation with a roller ball. I guess I should smell it before I put it on myself, but whatever. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so let me just tell you guys that her perfume ritual oils mm, are like my favorite. My favorite. I could probably do all this myself. Um, I have made some, um, oh, I've made some, I, I've made an aura spray before. I just, I haven't put it in my shop or anything. I made it for myself. That smells so good. Okay. But anyways, one of these days. Okay. Fairy Sight Ritual Oil. Each bottle is charged with focused intent and can be used to anoint candles, spell items, and alter tools. Because this oil is free of alcohol, phthalates, and other chemicals, I suggest using it within a year. Ritual oils may be worn as perfume to carry your magical intentions with you throughout the day and night. Very nice. So this is Fairy Sight, and it says Nectar, Citrus, Cas 
I don't know if it's Cassius um, and Jasmine. Very nice. Okay, we'll throw the trash over there. <laughs> All right, and then we have what appears to be a Nicholas. Get it open. So excited. Whoop. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I gotta have Tangle. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so. Hopefully it'll translate there. It looks like dandelions in there and I would say that it's like fairy-ish, you know? Can you guys see it? Yeah. Okay, let's put it on. Doesn't really go with my sweatshirt, but whatever. I can get it on here. Ta-da. No, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> I have a tank top underneath here. It. I need a shorter thing, but neat. Okay. Okay. <laughs> keep the girls in place, you know what I'm saying? All right. Gotta keep this, throw this over there. <laughs> I have a trash pile. I pick it up every day. It's just, I, you know, get it out of my way. Dandelion pendant. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It looks like dandelion. This dandelion is a symbol of overcoming challenges that life throws our way. The seeds are said to carry wishes. To charge the pendant, pass it through the smoke of the incense, hold it in your dominant hand, and picture your desired objective being infused into the pendant. Handmade with dandelion encased in resin. That's so cool. All right. Oh my God. We have a teaspoon with the little thingamajigger being like a flower. And it's like rainbow and shiz. Like rainbow metallic. Ah! Okay, where's that at? Um, it says spring blossom teaspoon. And it doesn't really, it doesn't give me any information about it. It just talks about using it in the ritual. But oh my god, it's so cute! Ah! Oh my god. Love it. Okay, I have a couple more things. Oh, I have, I have more things. I have more and more and more. Oh, and I appreciate the purple crinkle paper, y'all. Someone may receive that. I'm gonna continue to make my cousin it over here in the corner. <laughs> Let me just make sure. Okay, now cousin it has. Um, you know what? I need to take a picture of it because it's hilarious. <laughs> Uh, cousin it now has a purple top okay all right let's see what the rest of this is so it looks like we have a little spell kit guy we've got some blue cornflower and jasmine it looks like and let me open this we've got um, a couple purple candles so we've got these guys little purple chime candles um it looks like blue cornflower and jasmine flowers and oh, we've got a little crystal. It might be hard to, it looks like a um, little geode like, but anyways, it's on its matrix. Wonderful, let's see, crystal wish spell. Okay, I'm not gonna read it. But it, there's a little spell in here, so how cool. I wonder if it says anything. Get all this in here. I need to actually. Well, I'm gonna keep this in here so I can do the little spell before I put my crystal somewhere else. All right. Oh, I'm, this stuff is getting up my nose, y'all. Crystal spell kit. Hold on. Crystal spell kit. This kit was created exclusively for this month's box. It contains spell candles, a crystal flower offering, and spell with suggestions for use. The flower offering contains dried jasmine and blue corn flower. Wonderful! Okay. Whoa! It appears... I'm gonna have to... Hold on. Let me, let me open... Let me get... Let me get something out of this bell thing first, because it goes a little bit with it. All right, you ready? Hold on. I'm gonna stick this in here. 
We got little wooden candle, chime candle holders. Ah! So we've got two of these little guys. Yay! How cute. This is so cool. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Get it. Show, remember, I think I said this in another video. You gotta shove it in the hole. <laughs> don't, don't do that. All right, last but not least, we have a little black satin sachet, lovely. What is it? It's in some bubble wraps. Oh. oh, we've got a little plaque guy. It's got a little hooky do back here. <gasps> Lovely. Look at her. I almost want to paint her. Are we supposed to paint her? Although I might screw it up if I do that, but, um, but I almost want to paint her. Let's see what it says. Oh, I forgot to read about the wooden candle holders. Handmade wood candle holders. These guys in this bag. Um, these candle holders will hold spell candles on your altar. Please make sure you use foil in the cup holder and never let the candle burn down inside the wood wooden cup. Oh, that's true. I didn't even think about that. Burn my whole house down. Always place on a fire safe surface and not on fabric when in use. Never leave candles burning unattended. These beautiful holders were made out of birch wood and hand stained with a distress finish. Birch, Lady of the Woods, is regarded as a feminine tree. It is one of the first trees to show its leaf in spring. Birch twigs were traditionally used to make besoms for spring cleaning and maypoles are often made out of birch. Very nice. Okay, so then we have our Spring Muse plaque. This magic of the woods and the mystery of the spirits that dwell within are captured in this Spring Muse. This handcrafted plaque was created out of gypsum and then hand painted to capture the magic of spring. Was it supposed to be painted? Did y'all get a painted one? I bet you anything I got one that wasn't painted. <laughs> Cause, I mean, all right. She will cast a whimsical look over your altar, meditation space, or magical circle. Please shield from elements, and if you do want to hang her outside, use a waterproof sealer first. Okay, well, I've got a DIY, <laughs> which, I mean, I'm totally fine with. I just hope that I don't fuck it up. <laughs> I'd love, okay, if y'all got this box, um, I want to know what yours looks like. Is yours white? Did I say that it was hand painted? And where'd it go? And then hand painted, yeah. Okay, I think I think I got <laughs> Okay, Lisa, shut up. Just keep going. Alright, well, I'm gonna paint mine. <laughs> Otherwise, I think this is a really great box, and I'm totally fine with DIY. I just need the time to do it. And I do love to paint um, things. I'm not, I, I can't paint really, but um, but it's fun. It's like relaxing. So what do you guys think of this box? I think that I'm excited to paint my little thingamajigger here. Um, I'm loving the candle. Uh, the candle holders are super cute. I'm, I'm excited. So there you go, guys. That is it for our Sugar Muses for April 2022. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below. It really helps out my channel. And if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. And I will leave last, not last month, but the last one that I opened, Sugar Muses, right here. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.